Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Hey, what's your name, brother? David. David, David. David. My name is uh, Daniel. Hey, sis, come here for a second. What's your name? Sean. Sean. No, that's not Hey, true. now let me ask y'all something. Do you guys know who you are according to the Bible, like what your true nationality is? Because many of us don't know. Right. A lot of us have gone to churches all of our lives, and we don't know who we are. Right. We call ourselves blacks, African-American, Negroes, so on and so forth. But what does God call us? Right. And that's why we're out here to show our people who we are, and it's important that we know that. So having said that, who do you identify yourself with on this sign right here? On this side, on your, your right, is the name that our, our, uh, that our oppressors gave us. But this is the name God gave us. So who do you see yourself on this sign? Judah, how about you, sis? Where do you see yourself out on this sign? And it's important that we know these things. All right? Well, while you look at that and figure that out now, one of the questions you may be asking is, how do you know that I'm from the tribe of Judah? Because we claim a lot of different stuff, all right? Give me Deuteronomy 28, 50. I want to show you how we know that you're Bring from the up. tribe of Judah, all right? Now, I want you to look at this sign right here. Do you agree that this happened to us? And, and to some degree, it's still happening to us. You would agree with that, right? So, did you know that our history was written in the Bible? Did you guys know that? Because many of us think this is a, 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 a white man's book, and it's not. It is our history book right, that was taken right, from right. us and was given back to us with false doctrines. Right. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28 5. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Oh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said he will place curses on us if right. we didn't listen to him and obey his word. Right. Right. Many of us say that God's laws have been done away with, but right. God now is telling you, because we are in the curses that we're in, it's because we broke God's law. Right. So that's why I'm trying to show you who the curses are to be identified with. Now watch this, give me verse 48. Watch this, bro. Verse 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Now listen, God says we were going to serve our enemies. Right. Right? Watch this, read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In verse 15, God said he was going to place curses on us. Bring it out. Right. In placing those curses, he was going to send, he was going to put curses on us. Bring and one out. of those curses is this. Read that again. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness, and in want of all things. Now watch how detailed the Most High God is. Watch who the Bring enemy is, read. And he, who? And he read. shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So God said that this enemy was gonna put a yoke of iron on up our necks. Right. Who did that? You, you get it now. So our history is in this Bible. Right. Many of us don't know that. Right. Because the preachers that we see in all these churches, right. they're not teaching God's people. Right. They're not teaching us the laws of God. We don't know who we are. Right. So we keep perpetuating being called Negroes, right. African Americans, right. Coons, right. Spicks. All right. these names, they attach to us. Right. Why? Because we're not being taught who we Bring are. Out, Give me out. verse 68. Now my question to you is, how do we get here? How do we get over to this land? 
the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and they, how do we get here? They brought us over here. Did you know that was in the Bible? Bring it up. Read that. Verse 68. Bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What most of us don't understand is that we don't know what the word Egypt is. We right. assume he's talking about a land man. Watch this. We're going to give you the precept of that. Read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Bondage means slavery. Right. So give me Baruch 3 and 8. Now, real quick. So you know that this happened to us. You see that this Bible is our book. It's not a white man's book. Right. This is our book right. that was taken from us. Watch right. this, read. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Right. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are still in our captivity right. to this day. So my question to you is, what must we do to get out of this situation? Go back to verse 15. I'm right. you, I know you're going to catch it. Watch this. Verse 15 is going to tell you. Now I'm going to ask you again, what must we do to get out of our situation again. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. So we must do and to observe all his commandments. Right. So that is an action word. We must do these That's things. Right. Right. Now, uh, now, let me ask you something. Do you love God? You love him. Okay. So I want to share something with you real quick. One of the ways we determine whether our brothers and sisters are really sincere, because we have, when, when, in order for a baby to walk, what must he or she do? She has to get up, or Bring he has up. to get up and take a step. Right. So we're asking you to take a step where the Most High God has commanded you to take a step. But watch right. this. Give me Leviticus 21. You know where we're going. Yeah. Um, Leviticus 21. Bring it Read on, that. Huh? Got it? Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5 uh -huh. They shall not make baldness upon their heads uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard When we got here, I'm going to tell you how crafty Esau is He would tell us Make us shave our beards off right. Shave our mustache off In right. order to qualify to get a job right. In order for you to get this job You got to shave your beard off right. But God himself said We're not supposed to do that right. Hey, right. somebody give me uh, give me beard Give me the Zonovan Bible Dictionary Give me a uh, beard Because I want to show you How important that is right. We would agree that Christ had a beard, right? So if he had a beard And he is our example Then we must have a beard as well Alright, All right. so read that again Leviticus 21 verse 5 uh -huh. They shall not make boldness upon their heads uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beards So we shouldn't be bald in our heads And we shouldn't be shaving off our beards That's Why? Right. That custom that we received came out of the land of Egypt right. Right. Because then they would shave their eyebrows right. Their beards, their right. mustache Every bit of hair they had on their bodies They would shave it off right. Right. We were uh, subject to them for over 400 years. So we picked up those customs. Right. The same customs we celebrate here in the United States, whether it be Christ, uh, Christmas, Easter, Halloween, all these abominable holidays, God's people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we celebrate that right. stuff. All right? Who, you got that? Yeah. All right, you want to read that? Watch this, read. This is the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary. Beard, a badge of manly dignity. Read that again. Beard, a, a badge of manly dignity. As a sign of mourning, it was a custom to pluck it out or cut it off. The Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beards, probably because it was regarded as a heathenish sign. It was a heathenish sign. You are the greatest thing. Give me a Deuteronomy 76. Bring you too. You're the greatest people on this earth, but we don't know that. Right. Yes. Hey, how you doing, sis? Hey, come here. Hey, I'm doing fine. We're here showing my, our brother and our sisters who we are. Did you get a flyer, bro? Hey, hey, make sure you look at that flyer. Our website and everything is on there. You give us a call, okay? All right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how a men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.